1999, Holocaust survivor Elie Wiesel addressed the nation in his speech, The Perils of Indifference. While remembering the Holocaust, he walks toward the new millennium carried by profound fear and extraordinary hope. Coached by Mr. Pierce, Danny Leopold will deliver the message to denounce indifference and to praise those who stood up for the victims. Go to the day a young Jewish boy from a small town in the Carpathian Mountains woke up in a place of eternal infamy called Buchenwald. He was finally free, but there was no joy in his heart. He thought there never would be again. Liberated a day earlier by American soldiers, he remembers their rage at what they saw. And even if he lives to be a very old man, he will always be grateful to them for that rage, and also for their compassion. Though he did not understand their language, their eyes told him what he needed to know, that they too would remember and bear witness. And now I stand before you, the army that freed me, and tens of thousands of others, and I am filled with a profound and abiding gratitude to the American people. Gratitude is a word that I cherish. Gratitude is what defines the humanity of the human being. And I am grateful for what you are doing for children in the world, for the homeless, for the victims of injustice, the victims of destiny and society. And I thank all of you for being here. We are on the threshold of a new century, a new millennium. What will the legacy of this vanishing century be? How will it be remembered in the new millennium? Surely it will be judged and judged severely in both moral and metaphysical terms. These failures have cast a dark shadow over humanity. Two world wars, countless civil wars, the senseless chain of assassinations, and on a different level, of course, Auschwitz and Treblinka. So much violence, so much indifference. What is indifference? Can one possibly view indifference as a virtue? Of course indifference can be tempting. More than that, seductive. It is so much easier to look away from victims. It is so much easier to avoid such rude interruptions to our work, our dreams, our hopes. It is, after all, awkward, troublesome, to be involved in another person's pain and despair. Yet for the person who is indifferent, his or her neighbor are of no consequence, and therefore their lives are meaningless. To be indifferent to that suffering is what makes the human being inhuman. In a way, indifference, after all, is more dangerous than anger and hatred. <coughs> anger can at times be creative. One writes a great poem, a great symphony. One does something special for the sake of humanity because one is angry at the injustice that one witnesses. But indifference is never creative. Even hatred at times may elicit a response. You fight it. You denounce it. You disarm it. Indifference elicits no response. Indifference is not a response. Indifference is not a beginning. It is an end. Thank you. Um, I don't know how you'd make a decision. Uh, girls, this was just a wonderful uh, contest today. Uh, there was humor, there was drama, there was commentary. Um, it was just great, and, and we all really appreciate it. Thank you. But we do have uh, winners. Uh, our second runner-up this year is Lorraine Best. Congratulations. Our first runner-up, second place this year, is for Gina Franz. Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah, it's Courtney. And the winner this year for the 2010 Janet Walton Girls Speaking Contest 
is Danny Leopold. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you all for your attendance here today. Thank you for being your parents. Uh, thank you for poking fun at me, Tom Cole and Gasp. We really appreciate that. Um, it's a great morning. It's a great contest. This is a great tradition. Uh, it's been here for over 50 years. I know that from looking back at the yearbooks. Uh, and it's going to be here for a long time to come. Uh, thank you again, girls, and thank you everyone for being here. Uh, students, it's on to third period. Oh my god. Oh, I thought for sure she would.